Now we're ready to actually place the trumpet mouthpiece on the amateur or the lips. I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to show you acceptable placement of the amateur, and then I'm going to show you how not to do it and where not to place your mouthpiece. Of all the stuff we've talked about so far, this is to me the most important part. If you get it right in the very beginning, life will be much better for the trumpet. If you do it wrong, then it's going to be really hard to fix. So I'm going to show you where it should be. You've got your top lip and you've got your bottom lip. So you want the mouthpiece to be mostly on the top lip and not as much on the bottom lip. I'll talk about why in a little while. But I'm going to place the mouthpiece right now. So I'm going to form my lips and place the uh, mouthpiece on my lips and I'm going to move to the side and show you how it looks like. One more time. And notice that it's, in my case, it's about five eighths to three quarters on my top lip and it's a one quarter to three eighths on my bottom lip. That is, you want to make sure, and I can show you with my little mouthpiece visualizer what I'm really wanting to show you, is make sure that the entire upper lip of your mouth, of your lip, is inside the mouthpiece, inside the rim in this case. So I can show you really well on my mouthpiece visualizer. This is just a, a Bach rim that's been attached to a little pole. <laughs> So I'm going to show you now how the armature looks from inside the mouthpiece. So this is the proper placement. So if you zoom in really close, you could see my lips. So that's really important. Now let me show you with the visualizer and the mouthpiece how not to place it. You want to make sure that you're in the middle of your mouth. You don't want to be over here or over here. Here, here. That's called playing off to the side of your armature. Don't play off to the side. Play in the middle. Unless there's something wrong with your teeth that you have to go one side or the other, definitely go for the middle of your lips like this. Now, really important issue is this, is make sure it does not go low. Like if you're down here, this is very low and this will not work. It might feel right because you can actually feel your lip, your top lip against the rim, but that is too low. Because if you look in the visualizer here, I don't have all of my lip inside the mouthpiece. So higher is better. Now there's a point if you get too high, that's too high because I'm not utilizing any of my lower lip. So that also is not good. So you want to go for this ratio of 5 eighths, 3 eighths, or 5 eighths, or maybe a little lower than that. But no lower than that. So if you do that, you're going to have a much easier time with your range, with your endurance, because you have your muscles, your lips, working for you and not against you.